A young man called Mike Harrington left his home in Charlestown. He was bound for Australia, where his pale skin would turn brown. He got on board a jumbo jet and said goodbye to mum and dad. It was the first time Mike could ever travel further than Ballinard had. Arriving into Sydney town in the year 2008. Wearing a pair of sunnies, he thought he was effing great. Hanging out at barbecues, drinking pints and schooners of new. With the baller boys of the golfing lads, he was part of many a crew. A job working in construction was what Mike liked to do best. Working on the roads in his U and his high vis vest. Cycle lanes and bridges, nothing was too grand. Some say he built the opera house with his own bare naked hand. He often called to a quiet little pub they call the Porter House, where a Carlton draft in a chaser kept him quiet as a mouse. The trouble with young Michael is he liked to drink on the nights. So when he got up to speak to a girl, he took a lot of shite. On the weekends when not in the pub, he'd venture very far. He'd like to play a game of golf, getting birdies or a par. Till one day on the ninth tee, the four iron came free. He missed the shot, slid on his ass and fell down and broke his knee. It was clear to all the pretty young girls this man was made of hot stuff. All the birds were onto it, though Gibby still put him a puff. On a night out in King's Cross, he asked an American for a dance. Little did he realise then it would blossom to such a romance. Now Michael started to up his game and he stopped his youthful ways. He started going to trendy spots and he even offered to pay. No more pies or chicken kebabs and no more big nights out. If he didn't wash all the dishes, she'd even give him a clout. In the summertime of the year, he took her up the Eiffel Tower. He asked if it could be her hubby, and then she began to cower. She thought a little and mm, then add and said, yes, that's fine with me. Only on the condition you stop whinging about your knee. So off to the happy couple's big day in the city of L.A. Thank God it wasn't in San Fran, or maybe Michael turn gay. Lots of fun and everyone's here wishing the best in their new life. He's happier now than he's ever been, now he's made Laurie his wife. So here we are on the wedding day and we hope you have your fill. Let's raise a glass and have a dance and leave a card with a $50 bill.